Hi everybody. Happy Tuesday. Did you forget about me? I know it, it seems like it's been a while, doesn't it? It really hasn't been that long. Maybe a month. Has it been a month? I don't think it's been a full month. But I went on vacation and I I know it hasn't been a month for you because I did upload video I did upload videos while for while I was gone. So there was some videos that ran while I was gone. But I thought, oh, I'll come back and I'll be back to my Tuesdays. Yeah, it did not happen. I came back and I had class in person. And of course, I wasn't ready, so I had to get ready. And so my room was so, actually, my room is still chaos. But um, there was no way I could even do a live on my desk, although I barely have space right for today. Um, it still seems like it's crazy. Why does it feel like you go on vacation and then it still takes like, a month and a half to get back to normal right so um we did go on vacation we went to drove from kansas to virginia straight pretty much straight we took a nap in a rest stop i'm not really sure that counts as a stop but like a three-hour nap um so both directions we drove straight through and um just because we were running late we we got a delayed start and then we forgot something had to turn around come back and really got a delayed start um, and then on the way back, we brought guinea pigs, and I don't even have a picture. I wish I had a picture of them, um, but I'll have to, I think it, they might have a picture. I'll make sure I post a picture on in this chat afterwards. Um, but we now have guinea pigs because my grandson can't take them to Italy with him. Um, so we brought them home with us, and... Um, so the poor little guys had to sit next to my daughter all the way back, which I'm not sure really thrilled her, but she loves them. I mean, she won't touch them, but she loves them. Um, <laughs> they have cute germs, you know, they have guinea pig germs, but she talks to them every day. She makes sure that we feed them and that we put them in bed at night and um, that we are we are touching them and taking care of them. Um, but, and my grandson that lives here has come over a couple times and he um, likes them and has uh, told his mom that um, he needs guinea pigs now. And I think that's hilarious because they have cats and my uh, child is like, want nothing to do with that. Does not want any guinea pigs. Um, so I think it's hilarious that they now want that my grandson wants guinea pigs. So, uh, so yes, it's been very busy since I got back. Um, we had a great class last week. Um, we had a couple, well, a new person last week, uh, last, this week, and a new, the Juanita from last month came back again. So it was great to have a couple new faces at class. Um, looking forward to, um, them continuing to come. Um, they seem to have a good time. I may have to, uh, figure out what I'm going to do if my class grows and I out extend past my living room, right? So, um, but, so a couple just newsworthy things. I'm going to close my Kindest Gnomes class today. I said that last week, but I'm definitely closing it today because I am working on finishing up my subscription box. Um, packets are going to go out um, next week. Um, because it closes for September for this quarter. And so I have to order and get those shipped out. Um, so if you want in on the quarterly subscription box, that is also going to close this week because the end of the quarter is this month, this week. So, um, that is this subscription box. It is on my website, um, the information, or you can message me. So, um, my subscription box is every three months. And you get more goodies than you get in my um, broad, ba broad product based classes. You actually get this stamp set in the subscription box. Um, if you already have it, I do advance in our face, I do publicize in our Facebook group what um, stamp set I'm going to use. So if you already have it, I can exchange it out. Um, then, so and you get extra goodies. It's it's like sixty dollars um every quarter, but I promise it's more than sixty dollars worth of stuff that you get in there because I don't know how to stop. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm losing money there. Um, but the other thing that is going to end this week is the perfect partners is what it's called. These are the dies that 
You don't have it, Vina. You don't have it because I haven't given it to you yet. Um, the uh, Perfect Partners is some stamp sets that are in the annual and the mini catalog that now have dies, but I didn't realize until last week that it's only for this month. Um, they're not continuing it past this month. Um, so like the piggies, the tree trimmings, waterfalls, Yeti, which I really was on the fence about Yeti. I don't know. I guess I better, I got two days to decide if I'm going to get it or not. Um, apple blossoms, which I really do like. Um, no, you don't get the die set. I can't afford the die set in the subscription box and it won't fit in your mini cutter, Miss Davina. Um... But, Miss Davina, I do have to talk to you about something because I just got a message today about a new sign-up special in October. So, we may have to discuss that. Um, so, Apple Blossoms. Um, so, I guess the dyes aren't continuing on, but don't get rid of them because, you know, the stamp sets are there and you want to keep the dyes, right? So... That is going to end in there in a certain little one. Watching this right now, mm, might have gotten one of those bundles on my order this week. Um, because, again, I have no self-control. Uh, excuse me. Exactly. Right there. You just said it. Surprise, surprise. Guess what I ordered for you. Merry Christmas. Very early. Um. Yeah, I know. Somebody is very spoiled. Um, I can't help it. I just love you too much. And you liked those piggies. And I couldn't help it. I didn't know it was going away this month. And so I had to order it. So, what I learned two weeks ago at a thing I was at is the gnome. I'm going to turn my camera down so that we can make this card. Hopefully... I do this right. So my little gnome, and I think my daughter took all my cards inside, so I can't show you. But Kindness Gnomes, this is the class for right now. And I don't even think I have my flyer for that. But it has dies. It has these dies. Um, I think all these will fit in your uh, mini cutter, Davina. Um, but this die and this die in the little pant, little legs. So these all make a gnome by himself. And this little guy here that I made mushrooms with actually makes hands and arms. Totally didn't realize that. So we are going to do that today with this card. I'm going to make him a full gnome because in my class he had no arms. So we're going to make a card and we're actually going to make a card that has a gift card. So, but I totally didn't grab a sentiment. So I think I'll go ahead and make this a Christmas card because I don't know. I'm probably going to give Christmas cards to people. So... I think I will make this one a Christmas card. Which one? Nope. I think this is, yep. So we're going to do that. So this card is going to be four and a quarter, and you're going to score at two and a half and five and a half. But I want a notch. And so we got rid of some of our dies that do that. So what I found is this label me fancy, okay? So we're gonna make a little notch right here in the middle. So I'm just gonna go in the middle of the end where I scored the two and a half and boom, now I have a notch. So I'm going to take my wet glue and just put down 
some glue. And I'm just going to put it along the two sides because um, we want to be able to put our card, right? We got to be able to put our card down the middle. So, and then I have a white that is four and a half, uh, four by five and a quarter. And so that's going to go on the bottom of the inside of our card. Okay. And then for DSP, I've got one that is one inch, and this is the kindest gnome. So in this class, you get a quarter, a half a pack of paper, you get um, the uh, some ribbon. You're going to get this ribbon, and you get these gems. So that's what I'm using today. I'm using what you would have left over. So this is like a bonus card because you make eight cards in that class, four designs. So this is like a freebie bonus. So I'm gonna put, you know what? I want one more piece of cardstock. This is Pacific Point and you know what? I need a piece of two and a quarter by two and three fourths. So let's grab. So, because this is going to go up here, so we have another piece of DSP. This DSP is two and three quarters by four, and it's going to go down on the bottom of the front. And I love these little guys. Look, look at the little foxes. But before I put down, so this is going to go here, but I'm going to put... The ribbon on the back side of it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue there and I'm going to attach this ribbon and then I can put, I want this to stick out some so, well I guess I need to So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the ribbon and this side of the card. So then that way I can give it some oomph. And then what I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to fray. Okay, because I want this to stick up. So, however, I kind of want it to go down almost to the card. I'm going to trim that here in just a second, all right? So, I'm going to trim this craziness. Maybe. I don't know why. These are like sharp scissors. I don't know why it's doing that. And then I'm going to flip it. And do the same thing down here. Let's see if that's I feel like I want a couple more. All right. And if you don't I feel like maybe it needs a little bit more glue right there on the edge. All righty. Now on this DSP, this one is going to be two by two and a half. And I'm going to have a little piece of DSP right there. All right. Now we can build our gnome. So I'm going to move the card aside for a minute. So I have the beard. And if you look really close on there, you can see little lines. I hope I'm in the camera. Am I in the camera? 
So I'm going to just put, and I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on his nose, because since I got glue out here. So I'm going to put glue on these little spots. And then I can line up my hat die in that spot, okay? And then I have the little nose. Maybe I should tuck his nose under. I guess I should tuck his nose under. It looks funny. I thought it would look okay on the outside, but it looks kind of funny on the outside, so. I'm gonna tuck it under. All right, yep, it looks better under. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on his britches. And then line his britches up, however. And I always have a little bit of paper towel in case I go over. All right. I think I want his bridges down farther, so let's. All right, here's where the arm and the leg. All right, so here is the mushroom tops. Well, what I call mushroom tops, okay? So I have two pale papaya to match the nose. And then I have two that I cut out of some specialty paper I had on my desk. So we're gonna take the round in and put them against, and I'm gonna trim, because I don't want the, I feel like the arm's gonna stick out here, okay? So I'm gonna trim that, because I just, I don't wanna take the chance, all right? Now, this happens to have, you don't have to have adhesive, but I just happened to because of what I was doing. So, I'm going to poke it out. Now it looks like a hand, right? Take this side. Looky there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the top. And then this is going to go out our sides, okay? And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on our dude. I'm going to do it over those hands because I don't want them to go anywhere, right? I'm really over dimensionaling him probably too, but I want to make sure. I think he's going to. I can do one more up here. Shadow box type cards. Oh my. I guess I'll have to make one for class next month. I got some new um, stamp sets that I ordered for class next month. So, and I do have lots of sprinkles. So, probably do need to use them up. All right, looky there. Look at that. All right, well, I got extra. Uh, mushrooms here because I stick, cut too many out for my card kits. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little mushroom down here. And then I got a little I'll order you a chamois. Oh, I'll have to, yeah. I'll have to, uh, it's probably a good idea. I probably need to order a couple of them. I don't think it's, you can have too many chamois. I cut mine in half, but still. 
How can you have too many chamois? I love my chamois. All right, so we're gonna put the mushrooms just like that with those trees. All right, let's see. I think since, I feel like I need a little bit of red in here since I did all this blue. I'm going to do some Puppy Parade. There we go. Now see, this will be perfect because I have a couple new grandchildren now. And they're older. So how perfect is this going to be for the holidays to put a gift card in there for them, right? I'm pretty sure that's backwards. Sorry, guys. But he's cute. Look how cute. Now he looks so much cuter with arms. Who knew, guys? Who knew that you can make arms? All right, guys. I love it. And I hope that you guys like this, too. I know Juanita will, or Juanita number one is we have to dub her now because we have two Juanitas in our class. So, all right, guys. Well, I will see you next week. Um, next month, I'll have to make a couple videos in advance because I'm going to have to work, but I got a new planner coming, so I'm going to be more organized. So, I will see you guys next week, and... Bestie, I will definitely see you this week. Talk to you later. Bye.